Okay, I just got done uh, washing them. Looking good. They actually weren't, really weren't that dirty, but I wanted to get the dust off as much as possible. And I couldn't get in, like inside here. I don't have that brush that goes in there. That's okay. So uh, I'm going to go dry these off with the cloth and then let them sit until they're totally dry. And then uh, I'll start painting right. I got them all dry. I hand dried them. Uh, I'm going to wait for them to finish air drying. Um, it's pretty warm out today, like about 80 right now. So uh, I think it'll dry pretty fast. I, I could probably just leave it in the sun and it'll dry. That's what I might do. But uh, I just, uh, I just um, wiped off the face. So uh, there we go. Almost time to paint them. Okay, getting ready to paint it. So uh, I've gone and uh, masked off all the the valve stems. I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna change them when I when I um, get the tires replaced on them. But I just wanted to keep them masked. So here we go. So I got my uh, icy dip here. I'm kind of warming it up in the sun here a little bit, and then I'll be spraying uh, two coats on each wheel. And it's like a, it's probably not a really good. I see lots of stuff blown around in the wind, so uh, I don't know. Hopefully, it'll turn out good. It'll be fine. A little dust won't hurt it. All right. Well, there's what it, there's the difference. I don't know. I kind of like this finish better, but uh, we'll see. We'll see after. Um, so I just got done spraying this one at a. Uh, it takes a lot of paint to spray these wheels, and you gotta spray it at different angles. So you see, there's some spots that I missed already over here. So uh, continue on. So I'm doing the first coat right now. Okay, so I've done uh, three of them so far. Um, the nozzle is starting to get clogged on this. See, you see, it's starting to dribble out of there. Uh, I'm not happy about that. It might be time to switch to another bottle. Um, but I've only done three wheels so far. I just got done with this one. See, see the nozzle's getting clogged, and it's like throwing like stuff onto the wheel. So that one's got like spots on it now. The rest of them look like they're turning out pretty good. So I don't know. I think I might um, I might shoot that next one with another can, and then I'm just gonna like do touch-ups on like the parts that. Uh, that there's that you can still see through the wheel. Uh, so far, it looks like it's turning out good. Um, and then I'm gonna put do the gloss coat on it. See how that turns out. Uh, I think I should have probably got two of those. It's like uh, one one can is like for like three wheels or something, and it gets clogged. So we'll see. Keep on going with these wheels with the thin spokes. It's kind of hard to paint. It's like there's not a lot. You have to paint like it in sections. So. So first I gotta paint this this section here, then move around this way. I see it already running out of paint. And then and then you gotta do like the inside of the spokes right here. It doesn't go on very thick either. And then you have to go do the outsides right here. Hit the inside of the spokes here. You just gotta make sure you get everything, you know? Okay. But uh, I'm putting on pretty thick coats, so I think what, but the next can is just gonna be like a touch up can. Alright, oh, right, there they are. They look great actually. Turned out really good. It's smooth too. Um, yeah, so I gotta just touch up some certain parts here. This here. Okay, so there it is. There, I'm done spraying them. They look good. Um, so uh, yeah, I had that little, just like a really bad overspray, like a like a thing right here, but that's okay. Um, so now I'm gonna go put the the clear on. Let's see how that turns out. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. I, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Okay, so uh, I've gone ahead and uh, 
I've sprayed these three with the with the glossifier. Yeah, the glossifier. So what this is supposed to do is just to add like a UV protection and and like a gloss coating to it. Um, I don't know. It looks like it's still wet, but uh, it does look like it's shinier. You can tell. So these two. Can you tell that one is shinier than the other? Yeah, actually you can tell. This one's a little a little shinier. Um, so they said the more that you put on, the shinier it will get. So I'm only going to do one coat, so it's not going to be uber shiny. But it'll add that, that UV protection that like you probably really don't need on the wheels. That's more like for body panels. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, they, it, it does make it shinier. So if you want shinier wheels, um, that glossifier, it really works. So here's some close-ups before I paint this last wheel. And there it's a little, it's kind of like got a matte finish, and this has like a kind of like a semi-gloss finish. Um, if you ask me, the, um, the, the kind of glossifier, it, it kind of makes the, it kind of makes it look less smooth though. Because you can kind of tell, like, it's shinier now, so you can tell how, s and then uh, it looks like the, just the matte finish is smoother. So, I don't know. I think if I was to do it again, I, I would just leave it the way it is. But uh, it's cool. I think it's good. A little bit, a little bling bling is fine. All right. So, but yeah, they're still kind of wet right now. They might, they might not be that shiny later. All right. Zooming out. All right. There it is. All done. Cool dealy. So uh, yeah, I've been waiting to get this done for for a while so I can order the tires because um, I didn't want to paint them with the new tires on. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out really good. Um, we'll have to see how it holds up. Um, here's my little uh, repair job. You can't really tell too much anymore. Not bad. Um, I don't know where else. This one is pretty bad right here. You can still kind of see it. But, uh, other than that, see this is one I didn't repair. Um, but yeah, it turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. Um, uh, so I got about like, it's like I got half the glossifier left. The glossifier actually goes on smoother than the Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip is kind of like it's plastic, <laughs> plasticky. So I got about I got about three quarters of the Plasti Dip left, and uh, and then I used that one can. So I got about three quarters left. So this is about two coats. Two coats is about one and a quarter. I didn't put the the second coat wasn't too much, and the yeah the first coat was pretty thick, and then the second coat I put on really lightly, and then uh, this is a this is like semi light. I didn't put too much of that either. So so there you go. Looks good. Um, I'll have to put the caps on the center caps on. Actually, I probably won't put the center caps on until uh, until I get the. Um, until I get the, um, the tires on there. So uh, that's it for now. I'm just going to let them dry for like an hour or so and then just put them away. Then they'll go on the Prius when, uh, when I get some tires. So I'm waiting for a tire sale. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the tires I'm planning to get for these are uh, some uh, uh, Sumitomo HTR uh, P02 or something. Something like that. It, there, It's like a kind of like an all-weather Sumitomo tire. I mean, it's for a Prius, you know. I'm not going to get like some super high uh super high performance tires for a prius but uh i'd like something and and uh htrs are they're soft and uh and um i hear they're, heard they're quiet and and they wear really long really long my van had some htrs on them and uh, they lasted like forever they took a lot of punishment so i'm really happy with the sumitomo tires um, but uh, yeah, the ride quality on my on my Prius sucks ass, um, and I think it's because the tires suck, because uh, they're those super econo tires. So yeah, there you go. Get some close-ups, so you can kind of tell. I probably should have sprayed that a little more. Looks a little light there. But, uh, I don't know, overall, I think it turned out good. The only the only big problem was that thing over there, like a drip dropped over there. Maybe I should have just got my finger and swiped it or something. But focus.
Focus, please. There we go. Yeah. It's a little blotch. I'm like, well, that's okay. It's no big deal. There's a couple over there, too. I was hoping it would auto level in, but it doesn't. So, so if you one thing you know about uh, um, you should know about Classy Dip is it's auto leveling and um, and it's really forgiving on like overspraying and stuff. So it's really easy to put on. And, uh, I don't know how it is to take it off. Um, I never tried taking it off, but I I really only use it for bumpers and stuff. So uh, there it is. I'm using my gout.